Ack. So this is the beginning of my reading vlog and I am going to sit down and relax. My legs are really sore because I trained yesterday. It's really awful outside. I really don't feel like going and doing anything. So I am just going to snuggle in with some steamy romance. So I decided that I am going to read, which is called Rascal or Rascal. That's, um, that's what I've been reading. I started it. It was very slow paced. Basically, there's a girl and she basically, she's on her period and she's in the store. And she's like, okay, great. Like, why can't this beast can? So this young kid on the tail basically starts screaming, like at the cash register. He starts screaming at the whole store, like, oh, can you get extra large pads, whatever price, and um, super large tampons or something. He screams at the whole store. And she feels so embarrassed and there's like the hottest guy next to her and then they get stuck together. I think it's in a lift, but it says the ATM, which to me ATM is like a cash point. So I kind of, I don't know, I'm guessing it's like a lift or something like that. So they get stuck together and they make out. Um, so you guys enjoy it. I haven't done a reading vlog before, so I don't really know what to put in it. Um, I've seen a few other people and they basically talk about the book, few clips of what they've done. Um, I might include it with a review at the end of it or like what I think. Um, but yeah, let's get it. Update on the book. I'm still uh, reading the Ruskals. So basically the plot is, um, there's a girl, like I said, she meets this guy. Turns out that he is the guy that's actually making all the noise downstairs, which means they're basically just doing a bar underneath where she lives. Actually, they get to know each other. He seems to be a, um, he has a group of five friends. They are all opening that bar together. He is from like a very rich family. He doesn't get along with them. Um, she is trying to obviously get her law degree, well, law job position kind of thing. Um, really really nice i really like how even the like it's steamy but it's not almost i have read some where even for me i'm 20 well i'm gonna be 26 in a couple of weeks um even i get like not blushing but kind of like uncomfortable uh with how explicit or how they describe what's happening between them two versus here yeah he's you know they are hot and bothered and they are going at it and he like teased her and the banter between them is lovely so i do definitely recommend but that's a book one out of i'm guessing five because there's five friends so they have just like met again they haven't met like for anything spicy but basically there's some renovations going downstairs from her house and she wasn't happy so she went down to basically tell them off and it turns out that he is the main guy behind all the noises so and they're flirting nine percent in and literally we just had one action so i'm hoping there's going to be more because a nice little change, that's yes. all. 19 power, talk to us about 2140, electric at 49, and just tap it around. There we go. Yeah, so it's like half 11 o'clock at night. Just a little update. Sorry for my appearance, but as in every freaking romantic story, they have disagreement, miscommunication, and there we go. Now we are on the break. So I'm just gonna sit here, finish it off, and yes, it says, yeah, 77% in. So we're almost done. So they officially made up, and he is getting a phone call that his dad is now in a hospital. I wanted to point one thing up or out here with all the smutty, like, steamy books that I've been reading. I think the one, the biggest takeaway is the unrealistic expectations that you're going to have for sex from now on. But I think for younger people, if you guys, you know, haven't had your experiences with the significant other, I think they do put big emphasis on using protection. And I think it is so, so important here. They are adults, grown-ups, you know, they've been together for a while and they still, in every single book, I was just thinking about it, that I've been reading from that genre, it really does state on you know, I am on a pill or let's use a condom. It does really point that out every single time they kind of have intercourse together, which I think 
is really important because you don't ever have to do anything you don't want to do or if you think that you're not being protected you have the right to be protected at all times so if a guy you know you guys are getting getting excited and you might want to go and take that step and he says no it will be fine it's just one time uh -uh 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 -uh. no 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 you can wait okay so definitely a good message from all the unrealistic expectations was great i loved it it was a lot more of like a, a romantic story um with a little bit of spice if i had to like out of five uh book was great it was like a good four you know it was it's not beautifully written you know it's not like a crazy um crazy gray book but it was cool it was like it was great time i would say that if you guys are into like a raunchy you know you've been down and dirty that's definitely not it like spice wise it's like a one and a half spice okay it's not great it's not it's not super spicy but it was cool now we're gonna go and get some shopping done then i can come back snuggle up on a sofa hopefully with my fucking almond milk so i can drink my coffee because i drank half and i was like we can't do her. I can go and read the birthday girl because it's July. Happy July. Happy July 1st. And that's my birthday month. So maybe I should take inspiration from the birthday girl. We will see. Probably not because I heard a few things and it's a little, a little taboo. So maybe, probably not. Okay. I'm probably going to just stick to my boyfriend. So yeah, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys in the next clip.